The Middle Ages took place from roughly 1100 to 1450 CE. The evolution of recreational games that were played during these times, specifically in Europe, were different, of course, depending on age. The number of games are endless, ranging from amusement, skill and strength, chance, strategy, card games, ball games, and many of these games are very similar to the ones that are popular today. Let's start off chronologically, introducing games that were played as children. Children's toys were constructed of dolls, whistles, and outside games, including hide-and-seek, tag, and the ever-so-popular Ring Around the Rosy. Ring Around the Rosy is a popular nursery rhyme that is still around today, but the meaning of the chant or song may be unknown by many. The first outbreak of the plague was roughly 1300 CE in England. Most all symptoms of the plague included a rosy red rash in the shape of a ring on the skin, as a repetitive ring around the rosy. Pockets were filled with sweet-smelling herbs, also known as posies, and they were carried around due to, the, due to the belief that the disease was transmitted by bad smells. So the tune follows with ashes, ashes, which grimly refers to the cremation of dead bodies due to the plague. Basic games flourished in Europe, including chess, dice, and checkers, and cards became popular around 1200 CE. Cards were supposedly brought to Europe by the witches or any mysterious people suspected of being involved with evil. There was a conjoined hypothesis that the cards were possessed and soon became unpopular because of the opportunity that gambling arose. Horse racing, chariot racing, and medieval tournaments were also popular during the Middle Ages and seen as common entertainment. Often, armored knights would fight each other for prizes, and these events were put on especially for the entertainment of the king and queen and the public. These specific tournaments were different from the old gladiatorial games because they were not intended to end in death, but unfortunately, many men were killed anyways. There was an obvious hierarchy in games in the Middle Ages by class rather than skill, like today. It is rumored that these tournaments were likely influenced by the popular Islamic sport of polo, which was invented in Uzbekistan. The sport became common in West Asia around 800 BC. The games played in Europe were much like those of places around the world, including Egypt or Greece. Spectator games, which originated within the Roman Empire, became popular because of their unique and dangerous qualities. Game ball was another popular outdoor game in the Middle Ages. Essentially, it was the beginning of American and European football. In game ball, there was a lot of violence on the field, including punching and even stabbing the other player. Many of these games were considered very dangerous and savage. Of course, these games have been modified by humane and appropriate rules and ways of playing, where in the Middle Ages, ruthless acts were expected, and in today's society, the behavior then would not be socially or ethically acceptable. The evolution of all of these games, as a generalization, is the acceptance by society. Games are played and ranked by skill rather than class, which is the most interesting factor in this evolution, as class was once such a large decider in who got to play. The competition with middle age games that were just as popular in the early 2000s as they were 500 years ago is simple, the internet and technology as a whole. Instead of playing card games or chess with the cards or chess pieces, we have the opportunity to play by ourselves, against someone else or a computer via the internet. Essentially, the act of play contributes to the cognitive, physical, social, and emotional well-being of children and youth. The importance of Middle Age games is the recognition that these games carried on for hundreds of years, continue in popularity and consuming people's time and energy today. Play, in general, also offers an ideal opportunity for children to engage with each other, as well as parents being able to engage fully with their children. From children's games to insanely dangerous games played by adults, the list ranges from simple but catchy chance, amusement, skills and strength, chance, strategy, card games, ball games, and many more. It is obvious that the creation and evolution of games as a whole have changed our society and culture forever. Games will never be forgotten and continue to be played by people of all ages. Games will continue to have an effect on us as a society, just as they did over 500 years ago in the Middle Ages.